we are stuck. It's a little bit scary because half people have masks on because of that virus thing. <laughs> we plan on launching our travel channel with this trip to Ireland. So far so good. But then COVID-19 is a pandemic. Pandemic. More new cases. Yeah, really bad timing to start sharing world travel videos. So we shifted by doing the whole full-time RV thing instead. Well, Bienvenue à Paris. it's time to shift gears again. What's wrong with this picture? You got it on the wrong side of the car. You sure? Yes. We're gonna fill you in on the direction of our lives and this channel while we finally get to share our epic first trip to Europe ever. Since 1969, when the Troubles began, about 21 miles of peace walls, mostly in Belfast, have been erected to minimize violence between the Irish Catholics on one side. We believe very much in a socialist country, and we believe in a united Ireland. And the British Protestants on the other. Though not a religious conflict, the Catholics wanted Northern Ireland to join a united Ireland, and the Protestants wanted Ireland to stay with the UK. Even though the Northern Ireland conflict officially ended in 1998, some residents still believe the walls are necessary to help maintain the peace. In fact, some of the gates in the peace line are still closed every night. You may see some comments about your president on the wall. Please remember, <laughs> Americans wrote them, not us. No trip to Ireland is complete without learning where hillbillies came from. Ulster Scottish Protestants left this part of Ireland and went to live in the Appalachians. Every year they'd still commemorate and celebrate the victory of King Billy. So hence, the people who come down from the hills were the hillbillies. You all come back now, here. Burmay Ogut Makara. That means thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much, friend. Before we started this channel, we lived a pretty limited existence. My favorite thing about Ireland is definitely the people. Traveling the country in an RV got us started on a good path, but the world is huge. We want to experience more of its humans. Plates parted, lava came up. Top part of the lava cooled very quickly, created a really hard crust. The rest of the lava underneath in that pool cooled very slowly. As it cooled slowly, it started to contract and split and crack, hence these lovely columns being formed. Giants made this like 65 million years ago. Taking the RV across the US, we didn't see a whole lot of castles. Ireland more than made up for it. They're everywhere. Dunluce Castle is one of the most picturesque castles in all of Ireland home to some of the first indoor toilets in Europe, and also a film set for Game of Thrones. Well, good morning. Right now we're off to Donegal's Secret Waterfall. I mean, it's not so secret anymore because there's a YouTube video with a gazillion views, but we're gonna go find it. I think it's down there somewhere. We hiked and looked, but it's actually pretty dangerous. If you don't time the tides right, you could die. We sent up the drone and <laughs> caught a tiny peak of the fall, don't blink, and learned it's a pretty long, scary hike along the jagged coastline. Yeah, this far. But hey, it's pretty. And this is the river that feeds it. You might be wondering why a couple of grandparents are taking risks and trying to be more adventurous. It's kind of sketchy if you're trying to walk along a road, because you never know when a car might just come, you know, zipping by. Oh look, there's a car now, zipping by. Leela's cancer was a big smack upside the head, reminding us that now is all we ever have. It's kind of a different world here. I mean, look at this, it's really cool. Why is everything red and green? But their flag, duh, red and green. In fact, Leela was supposed to be on her cancer meds for 10 years, but she took herself off the drug six months ago because the side effects outweighed the possible benefits. We are doing our best to really live and maybe inspire some of you to do the same. My name is Frank McDade, and I hope you enjoy this little video from northwest of Ireland, Donegal. Come and visit us on holidays, it's a lovely place. We happened to be in Donegal the day before an election where we met a dragon from Dragon's Den. Peter Casey. An Irish version of Shark Tank. He was running for public office. The election is tomorrow. Will you win? Uh, when we were in Belfast, we stayed in a proper Marriott, and it was about what you'd expect from Marriott. Here in, where are we, Leela? Killybags? It's a little more of a traditional place. Now, it's got a great view. If you want to do things like uh, turn on the heat, I think that's... If you want it to cool down, you just uh, pop open a window. If you want something like warm water, it's a little bit of a trick, you do this. 
What's been the biggest challenge of our trip, would you say, Leela? Oh, driving. <laughs> in this little car with a steering wheel on the wrong side of the car. Cars on the wrong side of the road. And these roads are tiny. They're in the sides don't make any sense. Wish us luck. We're hitting like the whole island. We're going around the entire island. If you're adventurous, I'd say you want to do that. The Glenif Horseshoe was formed during the last ice age, which lasted till about 10,000 BCE. When the glaciers melted, it carved out this chunk in the mountains. There's a 10K loop you can drive around to see all the cool stuff. We just stopped here, flew the drone, and it was so windy the drone almost evaporated forever. The undisputed greatest movie of all time, The Princess Bride, was filmed at Ireland's Cliffs of Insanity, aka the Cliffs of Moher. These sheer cliffs tower 702 feet above sea level, but these cliffs. Sleeve League Cliffs, County Donegal. Nearly triple that at 1,972 feet. My name's Bob. They're the highest accessible sea cliffs in all of Europe. But uh, the Cliffs of Moher are more sheer, according to Bob. That's right. Which makes them a little more, you know, ominous. Ireland is believed to have about 30,000 castles, most of which were built for defense. The Donegal Castle stood out to us for this luxury bathroom. I guess they don't want you leaving. Back in the day, that glorious toilet seat led down a chute to a hole in the ground, which makes me glad I live now and not then. We're on the Ring of Kerry. Now there's a gnarly storm. Check out these waves. I'm not sure if I can accurately capture how amazing this is. We're in the middle of a storm. I'm down here so you can hopefully hear me, but I'm gonna pop up and try to show you what's out here. It's amazing. Valencia Island is about as far west as Ireland gets and is the location of the first commercial transatlantic telegraph, like a cable under the ocean. They got it up and running in 1866, and Western Union killed it 100 years later. Only about 700 people live on the island today. With wild weather, crashing waves, and vibrant green grass surrounding the sea cliffs, we found it to be one of the most breathtaking places in Ireland. There is no end if you believe. Just take my hand and come with me. So we're thinking of a summer cottage. Leela, what do you think of this place? This is the Muckross house. It's okay, the view's, the view's not, not bad. Where in the wind? <laughs> I don't see you, called, where's your face? It's called Ladies <laughs> View at the Lakes of Killarney. And it was because Queen Victoria did a visit <laughs> here in the 1800s for 11 days. And her ladies in waiting would come up here, and this was their favorite view. So that's why it got called <laughs> Lady Ladies view. view. A few minutes ago, the rain was blowing, and there was no sun. There was a rainbow just a second ago, and now it's starting to rain again. Leela, maybe pull off so you can see a picture of those uh, snow-capped mountains up there. Am I getting them? You know, I've been having a little bit of trouble driving on the left side of the road. Well, oopsie, this. They're not coming out anytime soon. We are stuck. Well, Martin, the owner of the farm here, hooked us up with a tow truck company and hopefully they're they're coming. In the meantime, Leela's down there. I think we're seeking a little deeper into the side here. And I'm up here at Stone Circle. These are like stones that are like thousands of years old. Archaeologists speculate that stone circles like this were used for ceremonial and other purposes during the Bronze Age. There are about 79 circles like this in the surrounding area. My part to keep stone circles thriving. Today we thought we would take the tour bus. It was like $90 or something. We're like, oh, heck no. Let's take the car out in the rain, the sleet and everything so that we can be like... Your foot off the brake, Trevor. Wait, 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 tell him, yell him. You tell him. Wait, wait. Yeah, we're good. Woo! That's where we were. And this is where we are. <laughs> this is how they do it here in Ireland. How much work do you get from American travelers? I go to him this summertime. Very busy in the summer. Are Americans good drivers? Uh, some. This is the view from a Mercedes tow truck. This is our hotel. I think I'm gonna go in. It's been a day. There are some things in Ireland that are just, just different. When you flush a toilet in Ireland, you get a proper flush. Like 672 gallons per flush, or 2,543 liters to be more precise. Look at this. <laughs> there is so much to do and see. 
that your wife will be pestering you at 7 a.m. to get out of the room. That means exit, not bathroom, like I first thought. Right now it's hailing on me, but I'm not that cold. But over there, we got the sun. <laughs> I don't get it. This is one of the most amazing bu buildings we've seen so far. The Muckross Abbey was founded in 1448. For monks, the firehouse, and they were actually driven out in the 1600s. And still a whole bunch of it standing. And it's also the inspiration for naming RRV. We thought, Abbey? Maybe. And it stuck. Abbey maybe. The cemetery here at Muckross Abbey is still in use for burials. Built in 1446, the Blarney Castle is one of the most well-known in all of Ireland. Going inside, it's getting cold! Get me out of here! This is actually the path. These are the internal oh, wow. stairs. These walls are 18 feet Wait. thick in some places. You see these stairs, though. It houses the Blarney Stone, and kissing it is said to give you the gift of eloquence. Wow! Uh, well, there goes my hat. Not my okay. thing. To be upside down over the heights. Queen Elizabeth sent the Earl of Leicester to seize the castle for the crown, but the castle's owner, McCarthy, kept putting him off with his gift of gab. When the Earl reported his continued failures to the Queen... She said, that's the Lord of Lowry. This is the indoor bathroom. You had to go? That's where you went. I recently put the kitchen here because it was close to the dining hall, but they could also put boiling oil for any unwelcome guest. I've lost my hat, but now I've got my, my neck scarf, so... I look like a friar. Should we go that way? It's the Blarney Stone. My hat fell from there. One of the beautiful things about Ireland is it doesn't matter which side of the road you park on. Here comes traffic, Lilo, watch out, you're about to get murdered. I would walk to Christ Church Cathedral where the remains of Sir Richard de Clerc is buried. He was a Knights Templar. His nickname was Strongbow. I'm walking through the crypt in Christ's Church, this massive cathedral. And under here, who knows how many bodies were buried and still are buried. Pretty much the only thing I had to do while in Ireland was... What are you doing in Ireland in the middle of winter? The brazen head is there since the 11th century. Which is supposed to be Ireland's oldest bar. It's said that the ghost of Robert Emmett is still hanging out here. He was an Irish revolutionary who was hanged and beheaded by the British for high treason. This is where he planned his revolt. To see the crazy adventures we survived in Iceland, click right up there.